given us. In this Mass, we prayed for the living intention of Jason and Carrie Leffelman, for the deceased intention of Ronald Blossom and Norma Bushman. People stand, we'll pray our prayer to our Lady Sabbath together. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. We pray together. Mother most admirable, treasure of calm and serenity. We love her for the light of her lowered eyes, for the peace radiating from her countenance, for her own home, which reveals in her fullness of grace. She is the virgin of the invisible and of the essential. We ask her to detach us from the visible, to lead us on and to fix our gaze on the invisible, on which her eyes are fixed. Invisible presence, invisible life, invisible action, and the invisible love. In the midst of non-essentials, which invite and want to beguile us, may she give us the right understanding of the essential and the hunger for it. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth with great joy in your heart to celebrate this Holy Mass. St. Patrick, our Lady Most Admirable, the good St. Joseph. the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest, says Jesus to his disciples. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. We take the time to pray this holy mass in gratitude for the vocation that God has given us. We call to mind our sins, especially the length of time it has taken us since the last time. We thank God for the gift of our vocation. Confirmation for single people, holy matrimony for married, and holy orders for religious. Call to mind our sins, that we have not thank God every day for the gift of our vocation. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have been the sin. In my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to our lasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. God, for you in 
of the Lord, my Lord you are. Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. You are my inheritance, O Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path to life. Fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Lord. You are my inheritance.
God has chosen for us. Be it single, married, or religious. Because as St. Paul says, God will give us abundant graces. Abundant graces that along with our faith and love in Jesus Christ will be more than sufficient for us to get to heaven. Be confident that if you are polishing your soul free of the smudges of sin with the sacrament of reconciliation, and if you are receiving the graces of Holy Communion every Sunday in the Eucharist, the path that God has pointed out to you, that path will lead to eternal life. And not just barely, no. But the graces of Jesus Christ are so abundant in the Eucharist you receive this morning that you can easily afford to work spiritual communions for others that others might get those same graces that you want for them by receiving your Holy Communion. And that, my friends, is how non-Catholics get into heaven. And that, my friends, is how Catholics who don't receive the sacraments get into heaven. They get into heaven because of the spiritual communion that you work for them. The graces of Holy Communion are so abundant, St. Paul says, that they don't just get him into heaven by his living his vocation. you chose to walk the path that leads to life. Because you accepted the vocation that God gave you. And the magnanimous sacred heart of Jesus bestows upon you his abundant graces. St. Patrick, a lady most admirable, a good St. Joseph. Especially at this Mass, we 
Rano Basan and Norma Bushman. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, that perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. May Ronald's soul and Norma's soul, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. We pray for couples contemplating an abortion that they would not be deceived by Satan. So we call out, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I love you very much. I beg you to spare the life of the son, the unborn baby that I spiritually adopted was in danger of abortion. We pray Hail Mary prayer in gratitude for the vocation that God has given to us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, my women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Heavenly Father, we ask you here to answer all of these prayers to grant them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work with human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who will to save the whole world by the sacrifice of your Son, grant through the power of this oblation that your servants, living out their vocations, to whom you not cease to call to this apostolate, may imbue to the world the Spirit of Christ and be leavened for its sanctification. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice, and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples. 
disciples say. Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you possess me. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis the Pope and David our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Blessed are those called to the supper 
of the Lamb. Up with the Lord with gladness and smile, your face will never be ashamed. Now we pray our spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present with the Blessed Sacrament. I love you both of all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since other people dear to me cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come at least spiritually into their hearts. As though you are already in our hearts, help us to embrace you and unite ourselves wholly to you. Permit not that we should ever be separated from you. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Now we'll pray our prayer after receiving the liturgy. My Jesus, I love and adore you. You have come to me. I am one with you. I want you to reign with me forever. 
this life and in the next. Thank you for allowing me to share your divine life. May I become more like you through the sacred food. Let me never take you for granted, but always pray for those whose lives are dark with sin and ignorance and selfishness. Let me remember in the words of St. Paul that there for the grace of God go I. Each day I can become more like you, O Lord, and each day I can pray for those who have never heard of your presence in the Eucharist or who have heard it and rejected it. Let's pray. As we draw upon the fullness of your grace, we pray, O oh Lord, that you are faithful, who by your will are engaged in the vocation of this world, may be strengthened by the power of the Eucharistic banquet to be tireless witnesses to the truth of the gospel, and may ever make your Catholic Church present and active amid the affairs of this age. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember how uh, to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the memorial of the 9-11 terrorist attacks. We'll be praying a deck of the rosary, that fourth glorious mystery, the assumption of Mary into heaven uh, for all the people that died on September 11th of 2001. We'll pray that deck of the rosary before all of our masses. The Lord be with you. Now bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look with favor on these your children, O Lord, whom you have bestowed the endless mercy of their vocation upon them. And just as without your mercy they cannot be successful in living that vocation, so through the graces of this sacrament may they merit to obey your, your every command and save themselves and those whom they love through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, Go forth with great love in your heart to continue to live your vocations for the glory of God. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel. Be all our protection against the wickedness and snares of hell. May God be with you and come with prayer. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, all the evil spirits.